Hello, my name is Leopoldo Armesto and in this presentation we are going to talk about the living room of the intelligent house. So this is the outline of the presentation. First I'm going to introduce the purpose of the living room and how to regulate the temperature. I will show its design and describe their main electronic components and additional materials. And then I will focus on uh, connection diagrams so to so you, for you to know how to connect things on and create the proper connections in order to work with these electronics. So the aim of the living room is to control the temperature of the living room considering aspects such as energy saving of course. And the idea is that of the, this living room is that also includes a TFT screen so we can display data as the room temperature but it can also be used for to display data from other rooms of the house, of course, the presence of a person on the bedroom, if there's a fire on the, on the kitchen, things like that. Okay, so any kind of data we want to, to use, since the, the, the screen is attached to the microcontroller, it's, it's connected to the microcontroller. It can be used not only for the living room, of course. And uh, at the early beginning of the project, we thought about including a low-cost camera based on an ESP32 to implement some kind of safety system, but we, we leave these ideas uh, for future development. Uh, just to mention, I already mentioned in the previous presentation that this living room is inspired on passive houses. So the, they use, or the idea is that to introduce uh, fresh air based on an underground tube that will introduce a, as a cooling system uh, using the mini fan that the living room uh, has. So the idea is how to regulate the temperature indeed. No? So it's like uh, for this we have three actual let's say actuators. We have a resistor heater that uh, it will use a pack of resistors in order to increase the temperature of the room but this is let's say energy demanding, uh, uh, high energy demanding. Uh, we also can use a mini fan and the mini fan uh, will be or can be used in order to cool or, uh, or, uh, or heat depending on the temperature conditions of the external temperature conditions. The idea is that the mini, the, the mini fan will um, use an underground pipe that keeps the temperature constant at about 19 uh, cent, uh, Celsius degrees uh, regard, regardless of the temperature, uh, the ambient temperature. And the energy consumption here, is, we will assume that it's intermediate compared to the resistor heater. And the window, in this case, is just simply to, to, uh, to introduce fresh air from outside, but in this case, the temperature uh, of the air is not controlled, is not constant. So depending on the ambient conditions, we will use the window or not. But the, the nice thing of the windows is that it can be considered as a low energy consumption because it only requires to open or close the window and that's something which is uh, can be done uh, let's say with few energy. Also um, in order to monitor the temperature we will use a, a sensor which will be placed inside the living room using a thermistor, an NTC sensor and also we will use an ambient temperature or it is to use an ambient temperature obtained from an external API service, in this case it's a web service from Open Weather that will, uh, we will ask this service which is the actual temperature where the house is located. So here you can find the logic table that we are proposing in order to regulate the temperature. Depending on the uh, room temperature, the ground temperature, which assume, it's assumed to be fixed, the set point temperature, which will be the user demand or the temperature the user demands, and the outside temperature, depending on these conditions, we can activate either the heater, the fan, or the window. And the idea is to do it in a smart way so we can save energy. As you can see here, in many of our, let's say, decisions, we uh, prefer to open the window, which is a low energy consumption uh, system, uh, compared to the other ones, of course, and that will save us a lot of energy and will allow us to, let's say, increase or reduce the temperature depending on the, 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 uh, the conditions, of course, and the, and the set point. Um, in other places, we activate the fan and only in three cases we activate the heater. And there are only two cases that we have no way to 
cool down the temperature because in this case the set point temperature it's demanding a lower temperature even below any of the ground or the outside temperature so that's why we cannot uh, use it for uh, we cannot regulate in this in these cases let's say this we have no solution for these cases but it's it's out of our scope so here you have the uh, living room design you can find this model on Tinkercad and of course on our GitHub project as well and um, and you can see that we have some kind of fireplace in which we have integrated the heater here inside it's the the temperature sensor inside temperature sensor and also we have integrated the, the, the servo here we have the screen and here we have the fan these things here belong to the safety system that, that we intended to do at the beginning the early beginning well, with the camera so we, you can uh, someone brings let's say or touches this sensor and with the camera we were already at, we had is to detect if uh, the face for this person if it's in, within the database or whatever then we can open the, 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 the door and things like that but this, this idea were uh, left for future developments so these are the electronics of, uh, that we are proposing for, for this um, uh, in this case uh, uh, room uh, we need a temperature sensor, it's an analog sensor we need a mini fan we need two MOSFETs, one to control the mini fan and the other one to control the, the, the heater that the heater particularly will be made from the mini board, the pack of resistors and also an, a red LED and a, and a resistor in order to indicate that it's, it's, it's heating and also we have the screen here, the servo and some cables That's all, these are all the, the electronic components that, that we, uh, we will need in order to to, to work with the living room. Also, we, you can find additional materials here in Tinkercad where you can have living room, uh, all these decoration parts, also the mini fan adapter. We will need, of course, a silicone tube. We might need, of course, some, uh, in this case, some um, uh, a ground in order, or place where to, to uh, put the, 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 the living room and, and the, the tube uh, beneath. Okay, so these are you can find here all the URLs with all the where you can download and find things that we you you might require to use. So then about the connection uh, of this um, of this uh, living room, here you have the full uh, table uh, with the specific pins of the uh, in this case of the electronic name or the, the pin names of the electronic, where to put it or where to connect it on the Arduino sensor shield these are the names of the pins that you will find on this board here and this is the corresponding ESP32 board pin in order to uh, know we, where it's actually mapped on the ESP32 uh, board these are the signal type and in particular uh, remember that this uh, sensor shield all of them has a, a row with ground pins and a row with power pins so each of these components in general will require also a ground and a, and, a, and, a, and a power which is not indicated here in this table because uh, you can connect it anywhere indeed but uh, here in the, in the diagram, in the connection diagram you, you see the proposal where we, where, where we propose uh, to connect things uh, the temperature sensor uh, that we are using in this living room it's a thermistor it's a temperature, it's a, let's say it's a varying uh, resistor depending on the temperature that it's made from uh, metal oxides and particularly we can find two types of uh, thermistors the one is called NTC and the other one is called PTC NTC uh, in this case the, the resistance decreases as the temperature increases uh, while the PTC it's just the opposite the NTC sensors are commonly used as temperature sensors while PTC are usually used to protect uh, from overcurrent uh, some circuits so that's why we're using an NTC sensor because we use it as a voltage uh, in a voltage divided configuration as you can see here where when there's a variation of the temperature there will be a variation here of this voltage that we will measure with our microcontroller and this is the connection diagram that we propose to use with the temperature sensor as you can see here we are connecting it to A2 uh, so we have the ground, the power and the signal connected to A2 
And this uh, thing here you see, it's a Tinkercad simulation because along this uh, course we will see a lot of simulations uh, in, in Tinkercad. And in Tinkercad we use this sensor here, which is a temperature sensor that, let's say, emulates the actual real sensor we are we're going to use. In order, uh, this is the, the, the connection diagram for the heater. So the heater uses a, 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 a mini breadboard with a pack of resistors connected here in parallel. So all these pins here can be just simply connected with a row of header pins. Here we use cables, but it can be connected with a row of header pins, all of them soldered. This LED here is just to indicate the actual, let's say, power we are trying to produce with the heater. And uh, this heater will be connected to this digital pin here, D3, through the MOSFET. That will be a PWM signal, so the MOSFET will be in charge actually to provide the power through the battery to the pack of resistors, not the Arduino. That will be done through the MOSFET and the battery. This is the equivalent Tinkercad simulation that we use uh, in, uh, in, in this case. And this represents the MOSFET module. This thing here represents the MOSFET module. And this is the, the circuit that we propose to use uh, in order to control the minifan. Again, we are going to use another MOSFET that will be controlled with another PWM signal, in this case, uh, pin 7. And uh, this signal will regulate the spin of the minifan. And this is the equivalent circuit simulation since in Tinkercad we don't have this module here. Uh, we don't have an actual fan, but we, we have a motor. This motor will uh, rotate faster or slower depending on the PWM signal we, pro uh, we produce here. So in this presentation, I have introduced the electronics and the design of the living room of our intelligent house. Thank you very much.